Greetings, programs. This is Wretch, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic. In the last episode, we finished all of our business on Balmora and did a little space battle, teaching some respect to the HUD cartel. And speaking of HUD cartels, we have our mission in Narshada, the Smuggler's Moon. So let's make Planetfall and see what kind of uh, fun we're going to have here. There's some cool little intro and outro scenes landing landing and taking off from planets. See, look at this, you know, industrial landscape, urban, ho uh, you know, holograms, neon. This is right up Beaudry's alley. This is much better than the crags and military work. I was getting tired of being called a grunt. Now, I'll probably get called worse here on Narshada, but at least it's not a grunt. If you win roles in a conversation, you increase your social score. Okay, that's for um, flashpoints. And we have a red quest here for Mako to try and find out more about her, you know, her background and like what happened to her parents and whatnot. And all the quests here are yellow. So the good news about that is we can probably be here for quite some time leveling up and can probably finish up the quests that we need to do before we meet Taro Blood and call this a series. But I think we have quite a few more episodes before that'll happen. Hope you guys have enjoyed this so far. Ah, uh, this is much better. Much, much better. See, we got other, a we got aliens too. I think that's one of the reasons I didn't like Balmora. It was all humans. I like some spice, I like some variation. Got some more droids, Ethorians. So we'll see a lot more of the alien races. Gamorians. Maybe that's why the Imperials like Balmora so much, because it's pretty much all humans. And the Mazenti spaceport. And Baudry is equal opportunist. He, he doesn't care about race, because it doesn't matter what race you are, you can still be shot, and you can still pay him. So for clients and targets, Race doesn't matter to him much. Oh, so we have a droid here. Man, we already have quests, like, ready and good. Oh, there's a hut. Hello. Well, we might as well see what's available. Imperial asset identification, processing and uploading. What's this about? Is there something you want, droid? Holographic Link Open. Forgive orthodox introductions. Moro Vizen, head of special operations for the Imperial Diplomatic Service. I need assistance plucking a thorn from the Empire's side. It's a straightforward job, and it should earn a tidy profit. I like profit. Give me the details. What's the job? I was tasked with gathering allies on Nar Shaddaa. Hut clans, corporations, gangsters. But one man has resisted our entreaties. Rukabi is the local leader of the exchange. A galaxy spanning criminal organizations specializing in high-tech vice. Rukabi and the exchange refuse to join us. Now, if you played uh, KOTOR or KOTOR 2, you know about all about the exchange. They were kind of like Black Sun before Black Sun became prominent. Okay, uh, why do you need criminals? What does the Empire want from these gangsters? The exchange spends more money than most governments on spies, slicers, and scientists. Anyone they can't buy, they kidnap. They would have been valuable friends, but Akabi drugs and tortures my messengers. We need to make an example of him. Alright, how's how? Like, I need more details about the job, man. What do you got in mind? I want his army decimated, his arms cachets looted, his chemical refineries razed to the ground. Fun. I want to show a force so overwhelming that no one on Narshadar will ever deny the Empire again. If you're willing, of course. Well, I expect compensation if I'm willing. Let's get more specific about my pay. The diplomatic service will compensate you fully for your time. In addition, the wealth of the exchange is yours to claim. The exchange operates out of the Corellian sector of the city. Your path of destruction begins there. Neat. When you're through crippling the operations, you can find me at my command post. 
I'll be watching the chaos from my chambers. Hopefully this isn't a group quest. Okay, it's not. Just a crushing blow. Awesome. Now, Captain Heedley, let's see what he has to say. You there, Hunter. Got a job for you. Right up your alley. Was overseeing a prisoner transfer. Weequay pirate, name of Vomba. Couple of bounty hunters caught him. Wanted the reward. Somehow Vomba's mates found out. Shut down our security droids. Turned the entire spaceport into a war zone before they made off with him. <laughs> you mentioned a reward? How much are you willing to pay to get this Vomba back? Vomba's gang polished off the bounty hunters, so I've still got a fat pile of credits waiting to be claimed. Between the droid shutdown and his cronies, that swaggering git has the run of the terminal, but we've got him cornered. Negotiations ended with a dead diplomat. I'm not having any more of that. Rather, someone just went in there and made an example of him. Consider it done. No one will be left standing. Much obliged. Bomber's gang has sliced control stations throughout the terminal. You reset them, the droid should power back on and do their part. From there, it's just a matter of cleaning up. Go wild. I like people with, uh... Oh, it's a heroic. Eh... Uh, nope. No heroics. Sorry, Captain. But we do have that uh, quest to take out the exchange, so that's good. And it's the same other way, so we're at a shuttle port, essentially. Hey, we may see our sky house traveling from place to place. Because if I remember, we're basically traveling to city blocks, like city sections, every time we use the shuttle port. Let's take a look here. Looks oh. like they added more lights to hide the grime. Don't be fooled by the glamour. When you come to Nar Shada, you're here to lose something. Money, morals, the past. I Anything live here. I we have a house here. I decorated your room. I built a med bay for you. Well, those look like much larger than our houses, but I'm sure the house is somewhere around here. Let's go ahead and log in to the... to unlock. See? And we can already travel to different areas. The Duro Sector, the Star Cluster Casino, the Lower Promenade, that's actually the main hub. Uh, Carillion Sector, Upper Industrial Sector, and the network access. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Indeed. Just kind of take it all in. A lot of people who play MMOs, myself included at times, don't really take the time to look around at how awesome the work went in and how awesome some of these places actually look. Welcome to the promenade. Now, there's tons of vendors here. And we'll definitely be using our speeder bike to travel around. Okay, there we go. And we have a quest right here. Oh, that's a flashpoint courier. So we know to avoid that, and that's more stuff from Darth Malgus. And... Hmm... See, you can even hear, like, the people talking in, like, Twi'lek and whatnot over the comm. It's awesome. Such attention to deep Dell. Oh, big golden hut. Lucent Square. So all of our vendors and whatnot are here, so we can kind of give the space station a break. And we may explore this a little bit later. But let's keep looking. Got the market. And... Roughneck room, the enemy of my enemy. Okay, we have to go upstairs. Making sure there's nowhere else that we can really, that we really need to go. You know me and exploring. Oh look, they even got a little grandstand there for a band to play. And here's the overlook. Okay. 
Now, we pretty much discovered all of the promenade. And now we can go, well, where can we go? I don't see a turbo lift or anything. Are we going to get lost on the promenade? Is that what's going to happen? There must be the appropriate faction to enter. Yes, I forgot to tell you, Republic uh, Republic people are here as well. This is one of the places where Republic, both Republic and uh, Empire are. See, like a level 60 Jedi Sentinel right there. I think, okay, this is the way. The Slippery Slopes Cantina. You better run while you can. I'm dangerous. Ten different kinds of crazy. You really think you can bring me in? Yeah. Fine. Whatever they're paying you, I'll double it. Triple it. Nope. What if I worked it off? I could be your sidekick. You and me, traveling the galaxy, catching lowlifes. No. Now that's a professional. You, my hat's off to you, sir. Hey. Now this is a cantina. Okay. Yeah, let's, okay, we learned the location for it. And I just want to go ahead and sell some stuff we'll here. Find a better bargain. Sell all the junk. Make those old stuff. The Vibra Sword, the armor. Almost gives us 10,000. Come back anytime. And there's our contact. Uh, Carteri. Coral. Well, this is a surprise. Never thought you'd just turn yourself in. Okay, first thing, my name's not Coral. Second, what are you talking about? Right, oh, wait a minute. Right, of course not. I suppose you're just here for a friendly chat then? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's exit out of this real quick. Is this wrong side of the hunt? Yeah, it is. Check it. Oh, that's for the companion stuff. Okay. That's not... We don't need to do that right now. The enemy of my enemy and a crushing blow. That's good that that's your name? <laughs> I don't want to do all the coral jokes. Well, yeah, I do in, like, the worst way, but... Okay, the enemy of my enemy. Let's head in here. I'm sick of excuses. I'll feed all you worthless slugs to a rancor if I have to. You hear what... Hey, excuse me? Hey, nobody just walks in here, huh? Nobody. I'm a bounty hunter, hunting the Eidolon. Interested? The Eidolon? What? You're kidding me, right? No. C tell me you're kidding. You're, you're not kidding. All right, I'll bite. Boys, hey, get out of here. Get us some refreshments. The Eidolon did some work for us, you know. He could kill anybody, anywhere. This guy was unbelievable. Yeah, well, so am I. Killing folks ain't that hard. Anyone could kill a gank on the street. But the Eidolon specialized in impossible targets. But then, at the top of his game, the Eidolon announces he's getting out of the assassination business, opened a security company. Suddenly, half the corporations here were clients of Eidolon security, and were no longer paying the hut cartel. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Gellerin, I haven't finished slicing those casino lugjack machines, but I thought that... Anuli? That's Mako! Everyone said she was dead! The Rodian brothers grabbed her... Someone saved me from those antenna heads, Anuli. A good friend. He took me away to Huda. Hmm. Old friend? You two know each other? Anuli and I grew up together on the streets. He's like my little brother. Can we get back to business? Yes? Look, nobody knows how to find the idol on, but if you hurt his company, <laughs> he'll find you. I've seen it before. The idol on's biggest client is the Republic. Of course it Idolon is. security supplies those ganks with billions of credits worth of munitions every year. Hmm. Yeah. Well, the Republic could get in the way. Actually, he's with the Republic. Is Eidolon security actually allied with the Republic? It's a business. It allies with the biggest bank account, and the Republic's got a pretty impressive one. Eidolon security's got a stockpile of munitions bound for the Republic army. Crates are at their manufacturing facility in the Corellian sector. If that facility were to blow up, the Eidolon would owe the Republic billions of credits, which I'm guessing, hey, he ain't got just lying around. 
Can't use thermal detonators. Too small. Need beradium charges, like the ones Brel made before he blew up. Hang on, hang on. That's not very reassuring. That context. Brel blew himself up because he got cocky. These beradium charges are perfectly safe. You got my word. Uh huh. Well, then let's do this. Fine. Hand them over. That's the spirit. Ha, I wish I had a dozen of you working for me. Uh, uh, you know, with me. The charges are magnetic. You gotta put them on the power generators for maximum yield. One in the control center, too. A facility that size will have several generators. It's pretty standard. They'll be easy to spot. The charges are on a synchronized timer. Now, after you planted the last one in the control room, set the timer, then get out of there. Cool. Got a commendation. Well, we don't really have any other award but that. Cool. Well, Mako seems to know everyone here in this little cantina, doesn't she? And we'll deal with that when uh, we can actually pull it off. Now, a crushing blow and economic boom. Now, where do we... It looks like all of both of them are right here. I love it when all the quests are bunched up. That makes life so much easier for all concerned. Okay, we're going the right way. And... Yeah. Just gotta head back onto the uh, speeder platform. Apparently there's tons of like little cantinas and things that you can go into here. So there's a lot to explore. And we'll go plant the explosives for a big boom and also take care of the exchange. I think it's in the same area. So where... Okay, there we go. Did we... Okay, we didn't discover this part. We have discovered Promenade. Good, good, good. Welcome. Please select an available travel route. Cool. Both of them are in the have Carillion sector. Kind of has a Blade Runner vibe to it as well. If you guys have never seen Blade Runner, I really suggest you do because a lot of this big city, you know, urban sprawl that you see on Coruscant and Nar Shadda actually came from the movie Blade Runner. It was kind of the first one to do it like that. Nick 2 and Carillion sectors. Just sorry, just taking in the sights. There we go. And even more quests. I like it. And that is a Duro named Ghost. Let's see what he has to say. I know you, Hunter. Participant in the Great Hunt. Dealings with Edelon, right? Of course I am. Call me Ghost, Nar Shaddaa's premier information broker. Intel's my business, and business is booming. Yeah, spare me the sales pitch. Just get to the point. Of course. Let's talk business. My scanners picked up recent additions to Nar Shaddaa's information market. Top secret Imperial Intelligence reports. About to be sold to the highest bidder. Hmm. Sounds like opportunity. I bet the imps will pay a fortune to get those reports back. I imagine you're right. I've traced the intelligence reports to Slicers in a gang called the Crates. Not the friendliest bunch to Grace Nar Shaddaa, but they pulled some amazing jobs. The sale is almost final. However, there's still time to find those Crate Slicers and recover the Empire's precious secrets. And what's your angle in this ghost? What are you making for this job? You got me. I received a small broker's fee once you recover the reports. Part of the deal I have with the Empire. Oh, that's interesting. Once you find the reports, hand them over to Intelligence Officer Keeling. I'm sure he'll be delighted to see you. Cool. And this is all here? Keeling's listening post? Awesome. Good stuff. Well, might as well get started then. Go through- okay, make sure we're not running right through, uh, mobs. 
Because I also know there's a cantina somewhere in these areas that we can go to. Italon armaments. Recovers sliced reports from the crate slice. Okay, the sli crate slicers are right here. And then destroy Ukabi's arms cache. Zero out of eight. So we'll just go around the... Yeah, we'll just go around the ring here. And I do know there is a holocron to be had somewhere nearby. But we may have to do that a little bit later. Maybe maybe off camera. Okay, Carillion Citizens, Crate Slicers. There's Crate Slicers. Hi, guys. Okay, these guys are a little bit tough. That's good. It's very good. What is... Okay, we had a droid, too. A sliced hut probe droid. Okay, are you still up? Nope. And none of you guys had what I needed. And what about you guys? It's like, I'm looking for things that you guys need to find for me. Regulation med pack, identity chip, and credits. I'll definitely take the credits all day long. Here's a nice grouping. Okay, this one's actually... Actually tough. Take care of their binkies, and then it's just us. So we can have a little chat. I'll probably try and upgrade my gear off camera as well. Now what do we need to do here? Recover the sliced reports. Not seeing anything like that, though. Unfortunately. Eh, no worries. That's how to put my mind to it. Well, these guys are still a little bit, um, a little bit soft. Okay, there's one of the sliced reports. Good deal. And just normal Carillion citizens here. We have to be aware of that. We can't just start blasting. At least I don't want to do that because I've never done that before. That might cause some problems. Crate Slicer, Crate Brute. Bam! Everyone in range. Everybody dies. And, ooh, look at this. Look at this grouping. Lots of probe droids. Right here. Actually, they jumped before we did. And that should kill all of them. And this probe droid should be cake. Sliced report. Not just oh, pretty sidekick buster. Sorry, Mako. I didn't even see you were fighting. There you go. And it doesn't look like we can salvage those guys. I actually probably need to go back to Balmora. I just realized because my. I'm not going to care about my crafting skills. Blah. Crate slicer, crate brute, pressurized coolant tank. Yeah, you guys all stay stand still now. Take your medicine. Cool. Recover the slice reports. Now, what do we got to do? Destroy arms cache. Yep, yep. 
Now, Star Wars does actually have a, a set language. The, the kind of weird writing that you see, um, some of it is actually legit. And I'm kind of curious what they may have put here, like little secret trolling messages. More Carillion citizens. And now we just have to... Okay. There's the weapons. So now we just have to tap nodes, pretty much. Need some help? Yes, Mako, as soon as you can stop staring at me. I know Beaudry looks awesome, but... And I think after we finish these little quests, I'm going to try and upgrade my gear. Which means we'll probably be broke! Okay, I thought I was shooting at someone. Woo! That... <laughs> that frightened me. Okay, that was one. Carillion citizens. I want to try to find ones that are... Ack! Not good. From exchange shooter. Okay, that wasn't that bad. But I am a glass cannon that does damage, so maybe me taking so much damage is kind of part of the deal. I'm so used to playing tank or really subtle with a ton of tricks. It's it, this is an interesting change of pace. This entire playthrough has been. Oh, okay. They went down in one salvo. Hmm. Okay, there's another one. Just gotta find them all hidden about. Preferably without, without pulling anyone. Or at least minimum resistance. Now, the exchange, if I remember, was ran by a crime lord by the name of Davik in uh, Kotar 1. Um, Candrus Ordo, who's the Mandalorian bounty hunter who, join, who uh, joins you on the quest. Oh, okay. We found another one. He worked for the exchange. Let's use my shield generator, because that's exactly what this is for. Situations like this. There we go. See, when you're playing as an operative, you have all kinds of, like, get-out-of-jail-free cards. Bounty Hunter, far less so. Alright, there's... Oh, Exchange Racketeer. Don't want to fight an elite. However, I will fight you. So, actually, I know Black Sun. I think Black... Now, if you don't know what Black Sun is... Uh, Black Sun was the name... Is the crime syndicate... That's probably the most powerful crime syndicate during the time of the Galactic Civil War. Um, that's the group that Prince Shizor from Shadows of the Empire has under his control. He's the, you know, lord and master of Black Sun. I think Black Sun was around here, but I don't think that they were as powerful now as they were. I think they're still... They're up and coming while the Exchange and some other criminal organizations are still on top. Who knows, we actually might do some quests for Black Sun. Okay, six out of eight, two more to go. And that's a nice little grouping right there that I'm going to take advantage of. Seven out of eight. Ooh, one more to go. Don't pull that droid, because that's just going to be annoying. Okay, groovy. And one more to go. Exchange shooter. 
Now, are you going to pull? That's my question. Are you guys going to pull if I shoot him? Nope, just him. That's good. And power shot to finish him off. Awesome. And we'll destroy this. And that is it for the arms boxes. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to take a powder here and end the episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the video, go ahead and click like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. And that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.